the new trend. Are we recording on that point? No, 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 I've only just started recording now, so <laughs> we, missed, we missed all that. So we're just doing a little bit of the first. See, I've got my thermal oh, over there. Hello. Hello. I've got my uh, iPad if you want to record it. Oh, great. Great. Now, what were we going to record? Was it 18 step? The 18. Or whatever it was that we were doing, the, the we do? sort no, of last ball, week. The thing, I don't know how many. Was it, was it the ant stall? Did we do that last week? With we the, did the, the one? One? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you that was a recording of that. Yeah. Alright, then we can do that. We can do that. I left it in the car, I'll just knock to the pan. Well, we'll do that. At, I suggest we should, I think we should have a hot drink break. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think we should have a hot chocolate break because we've got I've got that new hot chocolate what I got from the Aldi's so I oh you've got that prepared. you came prepared yeah but <laughs> I've just put some water in the kettle and boiled it so we're just doing it so knees in line with the toes and we'll we'll come back to the loosening in a minute but I suggest we do something that gets us warm <laughs> yeah because. Yeah. Even though I very sensibly put all the radiators on three, yeah. it was still a bit chilly when we got in here, wasn't it? So, um, yes. Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Well, you should be an expert at, at that one then, because we did that this morning, didn't we? Only the um, the yeah. young style one. Yeah, there we are. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> Yeah. It's yeah. a tight muscle. So I'll just go for the 
it's soft. I don't need to know what I, you know. Um, yeah, so I, I kind of felt that because if you, it's a bit like learning a language. If you don't use it, you forget it. Mm-hmm. It just seems to say, right, your friend muscle isn't tight, and your hurry muscles are right. Exactly, exactly, yeah. So, um, I, will, I am, once I've done my next level up, um, I've got a few bits of Bob's training. Once I've got that up, well, then I'm going to do some more massage training later on in the year. Um, but I've only got a certain amount of time to. <laughs> sort of thing. Okay, now we open. We should hopefully be feeling a bit warmer already. So sink, sink the shoulders, sink the hips. Very good. And we're turning, turning, turning. Oh, that's nice. I don't know if the jazz band is going to come. Or they, they're quite fun, they're not. <laughs> it's my friend James in it. Like she plays drums and trombone. She's a trombonist, but then she took up drums later on, and then she gets more work drums, because they're all short drums. And uh, she's very, very nice. So She keeps meaning to come here, but hasn't quite managed it yet. <laughs> so we're just going to do bounce and shake, and then we're going to do some more... We'll come back to the loosening after we've done that to the shape. So up and down, up and down. Oh, 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 how nice. And then with bounce, I've done this with Emma. Um, you can do bounce side to side. And then the other thing she does is a bounce doodling. So you just move your weight around and bounce at the same time. And just explore. Yes. Yeah. Well, your feet actually. Mm-hmm. You're exploring. So you're you're putting your weight in randomised points on the feet, and it's it's really good for balance. And also, primarily today, it's really good for warming up your body. <laughs> <laughs> so it just. Uh, for those of you watching later. <laughs> On YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> it's freezing here. <laughs> We're really cold. <laughs> We're really, really cold. <laughs> so, um, it will you know that my arms are blue. Yeah, yeah, so, um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I, I had quite a lot of views. I mean, one of my videos I only put up on like Thursday or Friday and it already had 30 views. I don't know where it was. We ought to have a, a, a donation pot in there. Yeah. I will suggest that to Mike and say, look, there should be a donations pot for yeah. if people want to. Because yeah. you can get these things, you can get sponsorship on, you can ask for, was it patrons or patrons? Or like patrons. Patron, it's called Patreon or something. Yeah. But you can get sponsorship. <laughs> so it's all the, yeah. Patrons for patronage. Yeah, patronage, yeah. And they're patrons. In English, anyway. But in, in the. Um, but not the Americans do it, it's just some. They probably go patronage. Patronage. And then. Shame. So stay, really stay stuck in your feet. So feel the feet and the movement starts on the feet. So you want the, again, you want, you, uh, you want to go in the first third of the foot, sink the hips back and down. You've got, you've got a very strong connection through the ground. And again, with shake, you can also do doodle. So you can do doodling as well as shaking at the same time. Exciting, isn't it? Very good. <laughs> Just makes you look like you're... Eight, nine, 
10, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, for the corner, 9, 10. Okay, that's it. Do, do, do 10 more. To the corner, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Very good. Okay, now we'll do this one where we bring our heel to our glute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. This will generate a lot of heat. 20. Now you do the opposite glute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very nice. Then what we're going to do, um, we're going to do this, this one. We're going to go one. We'll do that ten times, and then we'll do it ten times in one direction. You show it again slowly. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Heel, inside, inside. Outside, outside, inside, inside. Yeah, so you can do it all alone. I've only ever done it all alone. Yeah, well now we're doing it in room. So, ready? And this is for fun. Right. My fun. Okay, here we go. So it's your opposite arm? No, same. Then it's opposite the side. Yeah, that's what I meant for the front. Yeah, yeah. If you're a bit tricky, you can do it that way. Actually, do it that way. We'll, we'll do it that way first, but you can mix it up because it's it's designed to be played about with. But you've got to start. <laughs> yeah, if you can't reach, because this is a good one for the hips. If you can't reach, then do the inside of your thigh and that side of your thigh, and that will work just because you're start. Yeah, just can't reach that. Okay, then do your knee. Do your knee. Yeah, yeah. 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 you've got to. Bend down. Yeah, don't bend down. Now you're standing upright, so if you can't do that without bending, then just go and do the knee, and that will do just as well. Okay. So you can adapt it. Right, with that introduction, this will, this will keep you warm because it will confuse your brain and make it overheat. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> we'll do it ten times and I won't do it too speedily. Ready? And we begin. One. Two. Just keep going. Don't give up. Three. Spoon. 
spoons. And that with the spoons. Oh, she's amazing. Actually, she's, she's a spoon. Um, she actually got invited to America to teach spoons, but she wasn't allowed to take the spoons off the plane. Um, because she might have hijacked the plane, but so she she uh, you know she's in the seventies, you know, very nice. And um, and so they had to provide the spoons when she got to the States. And they she had to test the spoons to check that they were the right good spoons. This is the Up, 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 up. 
you just got to keep the shape going as you go up. And then you get over a certain point, and then you stretch up, and then you So, before we, um, nice. Before we go on to the third and final round together, have a watch at what I'm doing. So, I'm like this, and then when I, when I move this up, if you look, my arms are kind of staying within quite a small area. I'm not kind of flailing them. It's a very gentle breeze. It's not a hurricane. That's <laughs> oh, it stopped raining. Oh no, there's little spots, but there's no breeze. There's no breeze. It's it's not like a, a hurricane. It's it's very very small. So when you do this, you want your you want to keep. It's a bit like when um, earlier on in, in class we were doing this, but we were what we did is we kept our arms below shoulder height and with the fingers outstretched to keep some structure within the arm, so it wasn't like a flippy floppy thing. It's a little bit of structure, and when Eva does the the shaking, she keeps quite a lot of structure in the arm. So when when she does this bit, it comes, it doesn't move too much. The arms don't move around too much. And it's quite tricky, and then, yeah, it's too much. It doesn't move too much. So I work on getting it a smaller movement, and it, and it starts in the feet. It starts in the feet. So that start there. And then watch the alarm, and try and get your knees more in line with the toes. That's it. Draw the, draw the toes in. And we just, so maybe move a little less, just to see if you can keep that structure. We'll just do the final one. Go up, 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 and then we go and stretch. So she actually stretches. Feel the stretch, feel the stretch across the, along the spine, sink the hips, and then up. Yeah. And then up. It feels different. If you if you do it where you've got the stretch and you feel like the elastic band and then release the elastic band, it has a single one of sort of yeah, wacky feeling. So wacky's bad. Wacky's good because you oh, go like that. Right. Okay. It's quite firm when she does it. But this bit it's almost like you're watching her when she does it on zoom, she kind of vibrates. And if you do it really, really tiny, what I'm working towards is getting that shape really tiny, small. So if you was to look from the outside, you couldn't see what was going on. It's almost like an inner trembling thing. Yeah. And because I tried that with Eva, but I, I was rubbish. I, I, I could only do it big. So you just have to start big and then work towards getting it really tiny. So you almost feel like the vibrations on the inside of your body. And then it goes like that. Yeah? It's different, isn't it? <coughs> yeah. So it's, on the surface it looks like something really easy, something very straightforward. But once you look at it a bit deeper, there's a lot more, there's quite a bit to it really. Quite a bit to it. So hopefully we're feeling a bit um mm. oh. <laughs> Just, just while we're, what we're going to do is we're just going to do um, a punching drill that we did on Friday, but very, very, very soft. Very soft. So it goes one, two, three, four, and we're just using it as a way of moving our body rather than if we're actually trying to whack anybody. So for those of you watching who do the punching and kicking art, we're not... They're not really proper punches. <coughs> They're more like body mechanic principles with a fist on the end. It's different. Um, so I'll just show you. It goes front hand, back hand, hook, hook, shovel hook, shovel hook, down punch, uppercut, uppercut. And it's just a way of just. Just to get us warm, it works your 
Keep him warm, it works your coordination, we're just going to do it five times with one foot forward and then five times with the other and then we'll get to doing that part of the form that we've been working on. So we've been, um, we've been very slowly working on this section but it's just to get ourselves all loose. So you want to do it very, very light. So how to make a fist, for those of you that don't have a foot, that's like that and then like that over the, over. And then soft, and this is straight. You want to straight. So if he was to do knuckle press ups, you wouldn't bend your wrist like that or like that. That's bad. You want a straight, straight punch. So you can run. Um, right. So we like this, and then you have one foot slightly forward than the other, and you can get arms up in a guard. So it can be down there, it can be up there doesn't really matter, it's just, it's movable. So it will move around as it needs to. And you want your thumb along that bit. So the thumb points that way towards the little finger on that part of the fist. That part of the fist, this one. So it's the one, two, three. It's the middle part of the finger. Not that bit, not that bit, that bit, thumb towards the little finger. Little finger, thumb, there, there, thumb, little finger. That part, that's that part, it's that part, that part. That, that part, that part, that part, little finger, thumb, little finger, thumb, that part, every time, that part, point your hand on there, put your, there. Put your finger on that part, look, put your finger on there, put your finger on there, put your finger, finger, pointy finger, that's not your pointy finger, that's your pointy finger, on there, put it on there, that's where you're putting it, feel that, notice, pay attention, notice what you feel under your finger, now replace that with your thumb, put your thumb there, that is a fist, that is a fist because then your thumb is out of the way, if you put your thumb there, if you put, Amy, if you put your thumb there, the thumb yeah. Could get damaged okay. if you hit someone. Yeah. If you <coughs> hit someone there, the yeah. thumb does not get damaged if you hit someone. Yeah? yeah. And then it's a straight wrist. I assume you do it against your finger. Straight wrist. Yeah. Like that. Put yeah. it vertical. Mm -hmm. Like this. Yeah. That's yeah. like that. Yeah. It's well, like this. Have, That's it. And the same on the other side. Yeah. A straight wrist. Now hold that. And feel what that feels like. That is a punch. That's what you need to do every single time. So you need to use your own kinesthetic awareness to check whether you're doing it correctly or not and not make assumptions that you're doing it correctly. Look, feel, sense. That is a fist. So for those of you on Zoom, there. That part, that thumb, little finger, that bit, not there, definitely not there, there, clear, specific, there we go, right, so, front hand, back hand, hook, hook, shovel hook, shovel hook, down punch, uppercut, uppercut, that's it, so let's do it again. Jab, cross, hook, hook, shovel hook, shovel hook, downward punch, uppercut, uppercut. So with the uppercut, you go up like that, uppercut, you go up like that. Okay, with one, uh, let's do some more. Jab, cross, hook, shovel hook, um, jab, cross, hook, oh, shovel hook, shovel hook, downward punch, uppercut. Uppercut, two more, jab, cross, hook, shovel hook, shovel hook, downward punch, uppercut, 
off the cuff. You did it different with the second. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's do it. So put your other foot forward. Make sure you've set up your fist correctly before you do anything, that the thumb's in the right place. Observe it with your hand, with your eyes, and notice what it feels like. Then, is this straight? Yes, it is. Great, we can carry on. So then we go jab, cross, hook, and we go shuffle hook. It's like a diagonal upper punch. Diagonal. So it's not vertical, it's not horizontal, it's in between. Then you go down punch, that's it. And then uppercut, uppercut. That's it. So the uppercut, hmm. It's very useful. Punching is brilliant for body mechanics. I personally, just for that, I personally do not go around hitting people. Because, <laughs> you know, I prefer to have a cup of tea, have a chat, <laughs> cake, <laughs> cake. <laughs> and then usually... Oh, unless it's the last piece of cake and then the punching bag. Yeah, <laughs> usually that is enough to sort out most <laughs> situations, really, I think. And, and this is for, so, so what I do the punching for is for coordination, for bone density, for cardio fitness, and for brain power. Because especially if you're doing complicated things, it works your brain. And also, when you're doing them and you have to be very specific about where things are, that also works your brain. It's brilliant, and it's very good for getting your getting body mechanics. So for example, when we do part of Wild Horses Main and things like that, or you know, or this one, you know, the body mechanics can all get, yeah, being able to move and do stuff, really, really useful. Yeah. So let's, let's do a few more, we'll do four more and then we'll just jump straight into doing what we were supposed to be doing today before it was too cold for us to think. Um, so I'll just show you from the diagonal view. So jab, now you can stay in the front foot with a jab or you can go slightly back. Um, I've been shown both by Ollie, so it kind of, I'll leave it up to you. So it goes jab, cross, hook, shovel hook, shovel hook, downward punch, upper cut. Up and cut. And then we go jab, cross, hook, shovel, hook, shovel, hook, down, punch, up and cut, up and cut. And then once more, jab, oh well, lost count. No, we'll do two more. Shovel, hook, shovel, hook. That's it, down, punch, up and cut, up and cut. And then once more, with, nice, with feeling, jab, cross, hook. Shovel hook, shovel hook, down punch, uppercut, uppercut. So we'll, we'll have a look, just periodically, have a look at the single ways of punching, because that's quite a lot. When I've done um, stuff with Corella on Tuesday, we've got the each one, the each one punching, which a little bit more um, spiral in. Um, they're a little bit more spiral and there's a lot more, really big on body mechanics. Um, but these are a bit more straightforward. And also, if you get to practice them with hitting a pad, like you do the uppercut, you go on and practice your uppercut. So it's, it can be, it can tell you whether your wrists are straight or not. And it, it's quite useful. And also, that's very good for your bone density. Uh, but we'll work to, we'll, we won't. No, because I want to I get, get on with the, yeah. Um, doing the form. And don't want so, to do it. <coughs> yeah, well that's why you wear stuff over here. That's why, why you wear the, um, um, I think it's got a very nice boxing on. So if at some point, uh, where did you get it? I think the Catherine Sports Direct, or, I think. Or Sports Direct, either of those. They yeah. do very cheap, but okay mm -hmm. kit. Because, because we're only doing it maybe once a week, maybe, more likely a couple of times a month tops in this class. There is no point getting anything super posh that costs squillions of pounds. So that, what, what Amy bought, the pad, perfectly adequate. And also we're never gonna get, we'll get a bit stronger, but we're never gonna get so strong we need the real, 
you know, not like all these lots, because they train um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, um, sort of two hours each time, and then they also do extra. They have to have really heavy duty kit, but they, we, we're not in the same, we're not, we're not doing it for the same, they're doing it for competitions, we're doing it to get a bit more coordinated, to get our bones a bit stronger, and to get our brains working better. We don't care if it actually works or not really. It's it's fine. So the pressure's off, but it just means you do need something. Okay. Um, uh, um, and then and then it means we can start introducing. But it's best if we just do the how to do it first, and we can start looking yeah. at things. And um, it's it's very very good. But anyway, so we were looking at grasp the tiger's ears, sink back and turn. Actually, we're going for the kick. Well, so the second kick, just so you can see it, it comes out. So the first kick just goes straight out into grass of tiger's ears. Now the second kick, oops, sorry, I'm out of shot. The second kick starts from the corner, it lifts up, then goes out. So it's a good job we did that character building hip exercise, wasn't it? Because now we can. So we can go from the corner to the front. So we just, uh, and then you can do it. So you've got a matching pair. You can do it the other side. So just for fun, we're gonna one, two, oh gosh, three, and then kick. See if you can try that out. So we'll start. Uh, if everybody, if I go to that end. And then if everybody faces that corner, we're going to use our left leg. We're going to use our left leg. So we've got we're on our right leg. We've got our left leg pointing towards that corner, and we just leave the arms where they are. We won't do the arms yet. So just lift up towards the corner, and then turn the leg towards that wall. So corner. And that's a side wall. Corner, side wall, and then we'll do a kick. And then have a little shake out and just try that out. So we're going to go one, two, three, kick, do it again. One, two, three, kick, do it again. We'll do it three, lots of three. And then I'll go that side and we'll do three, lots of three with the other leg. So then we've got a matching pair so we're not wonky. Excellent. <laughs> In the form, you do do it both sides because eventually we do the form in the other direction. <laughs> we do the form in both directions. We don't just start going towards the left. When we get to the end of the form, we then, um, when we get to the end of the form, we then do it towards the right and then everything will balance it. So, um, because when we do cut the bar towards his main brush and twist, he's only do it three times. And you think, well, I've done it twice on that leg and once on the other. But then you do it in the other direction, you see. But it's bad enough, that's what. Did he say about that in the Wednesday morning class, right? I don't know, I don't know. No, but in the olden days when you did, can you um, talk about did that? did do it once in reverse, <coughs> which totally confused the hell out of the whole class. Right! So I didn't do it again. <laughs> so we will do it in reverse. But only when we've got it in one direction first. Yeah. That was a band, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. brilliant. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, okay, we're getting distracted. So, <laughs> you put weight on your right leg, you've got your left knee in cat starts to the corner, and we go one, two, three, kick. So, that was the second time. Now, we've got one more round left. And we go one and down. Two, three, kick. And we'll have a look at the arm things in a minute. Now we're going to do it with the right leg. So we've got a matching pair of 80 legs. Because if you just do it one side, then it just feels weird if you don't do it the other. So we'll just do a trial run first. We'll do a trial run first and we'll do the three, three things. So we're facing that corner, we've got a weight on the left leg, we're in the right cat stance to 
to the corner. And we go one, open hip, and then put it back where you found it. Two, and three, kick. Oh, we'll do it again. One, two, and then do it with the arms. Three. Cool, that's hard work, isn't it? Yeah. To keep the balance. Yeah. And then once more we're feeling. One, two, whoopsie. Yeah. It's really hard. Yeah. It's really it. Oh, that's it. I did it right. So, yeah. um, mm. okay, what, what are the tips on how to stand on one leg successfully? Sink the other hips. Sink your hips. Yes. <laughs> so you sink your hips. Are we just going to transfer our weight? I'll, I'll go this side just for a bit of a. Transfer your weight from one side to the other. So you want your hips level and your shoulders level. And we're all breathing. Huh. So we'll do one of Eva's exercises. So, um, were you there when she made to stand on one leg for 30 seconds? Mm -hmm. How'd she manage? Uh, well done! Well, she did say you put your toe on the floor. Good job. Yeah, you can put your toe on the floor. It's not like a, was it, war of attrition way, where it's just, you, you just have to be realistic about what you can manage. And if you can't stand, with one leg in the air. Well, is that surprising? I don't think so. It's not like it's something we habitually do. You know, are we stalks? No, <laughs> we're not. So, <laughs> so yeah. It just, it's just that there's some useful things in standing on one leg that, that help strengthen your legs. But equally, you can strengthen legs just by doing this exercise ad nauseum. <coughs> and then that will improve your balance. So, you transfer your weight and you go into cat stance. So just check, check that your hips are level, check that your knees are in line with the toes. <coughs> I'm cheat a bit by turning my foot out a bit. So I'm not having a completely parallel foot. You're allowed to. I asked Eva, she said that's perfectly legit. And then you let the foot droop, let the toes hang. Then you go heel, toe. Transfer the weight, sink, 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 sink. Bring the foot in. Breathing. Oh, what a relief. Chin <clears throat> tucked in, and we're doing our sleepy target arms. And then we're good. Good. Now, if I was a stalk, I'd, I'd probably get the sack because I'd be rubbish at standing on me. Because they can do it for like hours on end and look very, very comfortable. It's like, I remember seeing like, um, a pigeon, or I don't know, it was a duck, standing on one leg. And it was there, and I thought, oh, look at that poor duck, it's only got one leg. And then eventually it started going, okay. <laughs> <laughs> one, five, four, three, two, one. Ugh. Someone's going to end this class. And then, <laughs> up like this. Five, four, three, two, one. So, and then eventually what you do is you, uh, I'll just show the zoomies what we did. Sorry, these, these trousers are all dark, so you can't really see my knee, but no way was I going to wear shorts today, so you just have to, yeah. <laughs> so when, when you do, one of the problems with that section of the form, from kick with right leg to uh, kick with, um, uh, left leg is to having to stand on one leg yeah. and and when you get wibbly wobbly the other thing that happens is you think oh I feel a little bit uncomfortable so what you need to do is get comfortable standing on one leg okay and I just sort of luxuriate in it you can really do it really slowly and then don't worry, if you get the wibbly wobblies, that's all right. Oh, wibbly wobbly, okay. <sighs> Who cares? You know, and then, and then you, you go into the... Uh, and then when you're used to being able to stand on one leg, when you go from the kick with right leg to grasp the tiger's ears, then it just kind of works much more smooth. Kick with left leg. So you can just stay there all day long if you wanted. 
and then you go to there. So I suggest you go to that bit. For those of you on, on Zoom and YouTube, you go to that bit. So you've got your lang one, lang one to chi hu, lang one. Sorry about the bad pronunciation of the acupuncture points. Chi hu, lang one, and that is a little bit bent, and that's actually bent. And you have your thumb against the finger, like a bird's beak. I'm thinking Rod Hall. Like Rod and the EU. I, I um, like that. And then you can even do a little, uh, a little health exercise. That's quite nice. <laughs> I quite like it, but just very gently swinging. So let, let's just try. Uh, let's just try that out. So what I'll do is I'll go. Um, we'll kick. And again, you don't have to kick high. You can do a low kick, and that's just as fine. I know the youngsters with the silk suits on from China. They do a kick, head high kick. But if you want to do a head high kick, that's great. But you have to do a lot of stretching. You have to do a lot of stretching, and then, and then I, oh, how far can I get? I could get to about there. That'll do. But also, you want to stay upright when you get there. They're, they're very flexible, but you know they're training all day long. They're training like ten hours a day, and that's all they've got to worry about. Maybe a little bit of laundry and sleeping and eating in between that. But apart from that, that's it. That's it. So we can go. That will do, because actually if you kick someone hard enough in the leg, that's better than trying to kick them in the head because they can't run after you. From a, like when I'd done a women's self-defence, we were like, don't try and you know, stamp on their foot, kick them in the shin, in the box mitts, and you know, all low stuff, and anything that's going to stop them running after you, and then as soon as you've done that, you run if you've not already run away from them first and called police. So it's all very, very practical, sensible stuff. No, no, you can do this, this, is no. You just do enough to get as far away <laughs> as possible. Uh, it's very, very practical and sensible, and nothing, nothing fancy, fanciful or imaginary, you know, look, I can do all this. It was a bit, it was not first aid, very, very down to earth, and this is what you can do. You know, if you're a first aider, you cannot do brain surgery, sorry, but so it was like, um, but you can call an ambulance. <laughs> and, uh, it's really, really simple. So it's the same with a um, self defense, call the police. So it's like that. <coughs> so it's like this you kick. Now, this is without the turn. You bring it back to play the peeper, you go to the corner, and then we go to, <coughs> and we go to, uh, so that, and then we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna do it together in a minute. Just watch what we're doing first. So we've got to here, and it goes one, two, three. Then we go one, two, three. We go one, two, three, four. We've got the corner, and we do what we just practiced, but we just do it once. One, two, three, and then we go one. Simples. And then I think, do, do we want do we want the tea break? Are we all right? I mean, we can do that a few times. We'll do that a couple of times. We'll do that a couple of times, and, couple of times and I think we we definitely earned ourselves a hot chocolate or two. Um, I'm just I'm just again I'm concerned about people feeling warm enough in the um, very important you know it's all part of Tai Chi progress. Tea. Um, so if you maybe get behind that way, and then what I'll do is I'll want to try and keep within the shot, because I haven't got my camera in and my, my other camera I left at home, the one that does the wide screen, that's not as good, because I've got another one, but that only works in better Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi, it makes it all stripey. So come in a bit, because I've got to go that end as well, remember? So I need to be able to get... I know, you don't want to be on the telly, but that's what I just wave at your hands. So, uh, so start here, <laughs> nice and tall. So we lift, kick, bring it back. Now we go to the corner, open the book, that's it. Now bring the foot down, make a fist with the hands. Transfer.
refurl the weight, make a round shape with the arms. Grasp the tiger's ears. It's a tiger, it's not a pussycat. So you sink back and you turn, push out, gather around the hold the ball, arm will go to that end. Push out, gather around the hold the ball, hold the ball, right hand on top. Right hand on top, that's it. Am I spinning? Oh, come on. Um, so I'm out of shot, that's okay. I'll, um, I'll go over here. <laughs> we know what we're doing. You know what you're doing. You know, actually, you and Amy know what you're doing. So uh, you just need to follow me and those three. That we will be like the three musketeers of um, Tai Chi 24 step. Mm -hmm. So we come up like that, turn to the side wall, kick, bring it back where you found it. Now you go down, you're in cat start with the left foot, bring that down there, and we're like that, and I will just show you that quickly like this. So your right hand is like that, your left hand is like that. That's it, and then, oh, what a relief. Drop your shoulders, drop your shoulders. Mm, very good. And you've, you're, you're in, left, cat, starts. <laughs> left, cat, starts. Okay, watch that last bit, very nice. Well, you've passed the audition, both of you. So, um, I'll just um, show you from this bit. So, look, we've done this, like that. We've come back, look. You, what you want to avoid is doing that, yeah. and adding an extra bit in, and then you end up not being able to sit that way because your weight's on the wrong leg. Because we're going that way, we want the empty leg to be this one. Because we're going to be doing this. And then we're going to be doing this. Another second on one leg thing, but he points the toes. When I did it with Ed, we pointed the toes down, but with Mike, it's like this. And then we go, whoop. And then. Then it goes to there. So that, that's the section we're working on Next. at Snail <laughs> Kung Fu Pace. <laughs> just like, really, just so we don't have to worry about what I must get this right now. Now we want to give ourselves loads of time just to get it in and then get it very clear. So it's about being, um, I mean like Dan was saying about that with the fist thing and the thumb there, little thing there. It's just so you're clear about what you're doing. The clearer you are, in how you're moving, the easier it is to do the thing. If you go, right, I'm going to do this, 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 and this. So when we go, hmm, we're going to kick. That corner. So I know exactly where I'm going. I know exactly where I'm going next. I'm going to that corner next. And then I'm going to the side wall and I'm going to kick. And then I'm going to go to here. And it's just, it's just a lot, it just takes the stress out when you know what you're doing. It helps, doesn't it? You know, it's, any um, more kind of things that we're doing it on, any, any kind of other comments or observations? I don't know what I'm doing, it's just what I can actually do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's where practicing helps and doing something over and over and over again until either you can do it or you've melted a bit, you know, or you've exploded or something, you know, it's fine. Uh, let's do that two more times and then we'll stop for a short break. So, because you, you want to give it space to kind of, you know, settle. So, go here. Nice and tall. So, get your posture just so. So, we're, even though we're on one leg, we've still got equal, even hips, even shoulders, chin tucked in, head floating. Hip sinking. <clears throat> and then we come up, hip. We come back. We go to the corner, open. One, two, oh sorry, my foot is out of, out of shot. Sorry about that, but I only want to do. Two, make a fist. Three, round, nice round, and we're tall. So sink the hips, sink the hips, weight in the front leg. One, sink back, two, three, push out, four, go around the whole ball, and you're facing the corner. We'll just stop, stop there for now. So face 
waiting for a new cat skull. Cat skulls. Oh, no, they're experts, so I'll, I'll just be in shock. So then you raise the knee up corner and then you move the knee to the side wall and then you kick, bring it back. That's it. And then with the toe, that's it. And then down and up. Not bad. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So there's a few little tricky bits. Um, yeah, getting from here to here. That just that's just practice. That's just practice. And then also the grass for tigers is it's a very nice cheap on exercise. Mm. Where you come in and then you come round. So the um, Professor Lin Hao Shen nicked this for his 18 set, mm. second 18 set. Well, recycled it. He recycled it. You can't, you can't steal. It's a bit like saying, oh, that person stole that folks or no. You sit, you know, it's, it's, it's like, so it comes around in a, in a curve, and the fists are horizontal, they're not fully vertical, they're diagonal, a bit like when you're doing your shovel hook, that's a diagonal, it's diagonal, and then when you, it's just to there, so you're not going like that, it's more upright, like a bicycle that's not a racing bike. It's mm -hmm. like a sit up and leg bike, if that helps. And then you come back, and then you go like this, and back. Actually, I'll do this, it will be easy for people to see if I'm like this. And you just have a, you can do, you can do uh, health, health exercise, grasp the tiger's ears. Just hold that, notice what you're feeling, then you come back, nice and tall, and then you do it. Hmm. That's it, and then, oof. yeah, so that's better, that's better already, yeah, yeah. Just by doing things, what's it going to I think it's tea break, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I can, mm -hmm. Let's come back round in the circle, we'll do a little bit more loosely, to make room for, um, Tea, coffee, hot chocolate, etc. Um. <laughs> it's fine. See, I'm not on my own. There are actual real people here. <laughs> oh, no. They look lost. Really <laughs> <laughs> no mates. <laughs> so, no, I got, I got accused of just talking to an empty. Sometimes I do talk to an empty hall, you know. Uh, well, I think I might have had two people in when it was really horrible weather and then two people braved the cold. I thought I was just going to freeze on my own here. But, so, anyway. Okay, well, let's do this one. Just breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. I think this is the last one of the fragrant pudding, isn't it? Fragrant pudding chicken. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that one. I love fragrant pudding chicken. Mm -hmm. I think it's so nice. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're going to, for the last part of the class, we're going to look at some wimpy cheek on exercises now in my small. So quite. The only thing it really gets me is yeah. we should have got that way or that way. So yeah. I just find I've got the wrong hand on top. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's normal. That's normal to get to get the things going. It's very very easy. I mean, especially these days, um, it's so easy to lose your attention, isn't it? And then as soon as you've lost your attention, you can be doing anything. Really, I mean, I've, I've been in and, and I've been in in seminars with very senior teachers. That are going to see Karen and Edward School, and they've been teaching for like 30 years or 40 years, so they're like what I would consider very high level practitioners of Tai Chi. I saw them messing it all up, <laughs> you know, because anyone can, it doesn't matter who you are, you, you can lose your attention, and that's fine. You just have to somehow work out the fact that you've worked out that you're doing it wrong means you know where the right is. 
You know where the correct is, the fact that you know it's wrong. So that's useful. <coughs> you think, okay, and then you eventually it will it will come back. But usually it's something um, getting a sense of what the move, the correct move, feels like in your body. It's much easier than if you try. I mean, you have to approach it from an analytical thing and think, right, this has got to be there, this has got to be there. But eventually, you get you ditch all the thinking and just do the feeling and sensing. So when when Carell says, notice what you're sensing, and then you can sense your way and feel your way into the correct movement without having to work it out first, or you work it out after. That's better, because then if you work it out after and use the thinking on top of getting it right already, then it's even clearer, you know. So it's about, yes, yeah, it's, it's more like the more I do, like learning tunes by ear, it's exactly the same process as if you're learning a tune by ear. If you try and work it out, it's much better to hear the tune over and over and over and over again, and then go, oh, look, I'm playing it. Oh, now how did I do that? And then then do all the theorising that on top. Yeah, but some some people find they can't do the muscle memory thing at all, and they can't, because it, it, it requires, you know, so sometimes you do have to think your way into a move, mm. um, but it's just a lot less efficient than just doing the move. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's stop the team. I've been walking too much. <laughs> I've got one. Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do, just to kind of confuse everybody, is we're going to do what we did this morning. So we're just doing this. So you know, you know this one. I was there this morning. No, 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 but you were there on Wednesday when everyone was confusing everybody. So we're like this. So this is silk really number two, which is we don't do this in 24 step. This is just a moving about and doing something exercise. So what you want to do is you want to have a finger like that, like you've got something, imagine you've got an Easter egg, mm. that's it, and then you go, oh, I don't want it. Oh, yes, I do. Oh. <laughs> <And then. laughs> so if you have it there, if you have it there, you can't eat it, it's on the floor. If you have it there, you can eat it. <laughs> so, oh, terrible. Or it could be an orange or an apple. Or a hot cross bun. Or a hot cross oh, bun. I've already had a hot cross bun this year. Okay, yeah. try that the other side. Try yeah. that the other side. It's not far away, is it? It's just so, free. I'm, I'm just doing one arm. Oh, right. Oh, right. Yeah, you've skipped ahead. You've skipped ahead. So, you've yeah. already done it. So, the importance of paying attention. <laughs> but like I was saying, you lose it so easily. easily. You lose it so easily. Everybody does. Mm -hmm. And then, so for those of you on YouTube that are wondering why is this class so short, it's because we spent about 20 minutes recording the Yang style Tai Chi Chi Gong set for. Um, to go on the unlisted, so you'll, you'll just have to, that's it. Okay, now, now we're doing it like this, you see. Ooh. So, you should be an expert, because I think we did this this morning, and you should be an expert, because we did this on Wednesday twice, yeah, no less. Wednesday was a whole weekend ago. Yes, <laughs> and then we go to Cat Stars. So, yes, so you're doing cloud hands, we're doing something else. Yeah. <laughs> I just automatically went into cloud hands. So, watch what's happening. Look, you're doing this exercise, let's go back to one, we'll just do one. Look, in at the top, out at sea, I told you it was a good one. Oh, you're going the opposite way. In at the top, pay it, oh, Amy's got it. Out, <laughs> Amy's got it. And and then we <laughs> there you go. Enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> oh, it's a great feeling when you get something in class and nobody else does, and you can just feel smug for all the five seconds because then it's 
time for you to get something wrong as well, mm -hmm. and you feel terrible. So just enjoy. <laughs> okay, now we go. Now we go like this. We. So we're just doing one arm. We're just doing one arm. Now this is very useful for brush and ear push actually, in a way. So it's not completely divorced from reality. And don't forget, don't drop your Easter egg. Don't drop the Easter egg. That's it. And then we can, oh. It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> Go in the wrong direction. Fantastic. And then what she was getting us to do is go forwards, go back, and then lift the leg up and stuff. But we'll we'll leave that there because it's <laughs> it's nice that exercise, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's nice. Yeah, well done. That was a very good class, actually. I think we, we covered quite a bit, didn't we? I thought so fast. I know it's amazing, isn't it? I think what helps it go <laughs> fast is stopping for ten minutes to drink hot chocolate. Yeah. <sighs> but they <laughs> Slackers. <coughs> so just turn, turn, turn for that. Feel, that feels a bit easier, doesn't it now? It's, it's looser, isn't it? Very okay, and then we'll do triple heater. Triple heater. So we go up like that and down. One more time. Embrace the tone, return to the mountain. So hopefully the video of the Yang style thingy bob will be put on the YouTube channel. Um, those of you who are watching YouTube and aren't members of Grey Heron and Turn Lot, if you send us an email, there should be contact details via the YouTube channel. I can also, you can get access to the video as well. And um, a whole heap of comments from me. A whole heap of comments from Amy. Amy is the comment, commentator in chief, I think. <laughs> so do feel free to add comments if you're watching, because it, you know, otherwise it's. You know, I mean, I really like your comments because they're usually spot on, so I'm, I'm very happy with that. But it, it's nice to get some other people too. So rub the hands together. Now we do get a couple of other people making comments. Sometimes, yeah. But sometimes I reply and then polish the face. <laughs> now it's good because then it shows someone's actually bothered to watch and to think about it mm. and to work out what they need to work out. And I think that's a very good, positive and productive thing, mm. personally. So we just do that, very good. Yeah, we're all breathing, we're all nice and relaxed. So the other thing is, is when you're confronted with something and you're not doing it correctly, you just have to relax more. We go, oh, look, I'm doing it wrong. Ah, oh, oh, what relief. So and then, and then you do it correctly. Don't just keep doing it wrong, unless you can't help, but that's fine. So breathing in, breathe out. This is such a nice move. This is, I think this is one of my favourite moves. It just, calm. it calms it, and it just sums it all up really. You know, embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. Yeah, it's very reassuring. One, that you've got your own tiger, and two, you've got your own mountain. Mm. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that would be nice. That would be nice, but we'll all go live on it. And then, <laughs> okay, <laughs> with a big, with a big tiger roof. And uh, make fist on the right hand, left hand over the top feet together, and bow. Yay. Well done, everyone. That was fantastic. <laughs> Woo! So, so it works. If we have hot chocolate, it makes your tai chi better. It's official. Okay. Great. Yeah, turn them down to two, please. Radiate this down to two. Well done. Bye.